Hello and welcome back everyone, today we will look back at the 1975 American TV series SWAT. We will revisit the cast of the TV series and will find out what happened to them. I will also tell you some interesting trivia facts about the show which you probably did not know, so let's jump right into it. Steve Forrest died at the age of 87 years in 2013 from undisclosed causes. Burt Reynolds recommended his friend Robert Urich to producer Aaron Spelling for this show. Reynolds and Urich were both alumni of Florida State University. Although this show lasted only two seasons, Spelling remembered Urich and later cast him in Vega Dollar, which had a longer run. Robert Urich died at the age of 55 years in 2002 from synovial sarcoma. Although the series was popular in the ratings, the show was cancelled into its second season due to the controversy it provoked concerning its violence. Rod Perry died at the age of 86 years in 2020 from Disclosed. The series theme music, theme from SWAT, by Rhythm Heritage, was a number one hit single on the Billboard Top 100 on February 28, 1976. Mark Shera was 25 years in 1975 and is 73 years old in 2023. This show was introduced as a two-hour episode of The Rookies, The Rookies, SWAT. Rosemary died at the age of 94 years in 2017 from natural causes. While most of the team carried standard issue .38 revolvers Lieutenant Hondo Harrelson carried a semi-automatic .45 caliber M1911 pistol. Sal Mineo died at the age of 37 years in 1976 from homicide. T.J. McCabe was the marksman of the team. That is why he was always armed with a high-powered rifle instead of an assault rifle. 